In the opening scene, we are introduced to our protagonist named Mia Lindbergh. She returns home late at night and finds her husband Thomas asleep on their bed. Mia gets closer and tries to kiss him, but Thomas turns the other way, still asleep. She then notices a notification on his computer screen. His associate, Dr. Isabel Rubin, has sent him an email. Curiosity gets the best of Mia. She opens the email and finds a picture of someone's deliberately burned skin. The following day, Thomas watches Dr. Isabel's interview where she boasts about a procedure she developed that can make old people young again. The interviewer asks her if she's had the procedure done on herself. Isabel replies that currently only their male customers have gone through the procedure. Since her DNA is of a rare kind, it's not that easy in her case. The journalist then asks if he can visit the lab, but Isabel declares that no one except the professionals can visit. After watching the interview, Thomas calls Isabel and arranges a meeting with her. The same morning, Mia meets her Russian neighbor Nika and her baby while jogging. As the two talk, they are joined by Isabel. She compliments Nika's hair and, without her knowing, takes a strand of her hair with her. After that, Isabel brings Mia to her house to meet Thomas. The doctor shows Thomas a video of the procedure that she was talking about in the interview. It turns out that Thomas is funding the project that Isabel is working on. He doesn't want the world to know about the procedure yet because it hasn't been authorized as safe. But Isabel argues that the world should know she discovered it first. The conversation ends after Thomas asks her to play by the rules and not advertise things recklessly. At night, Mia wears a provocative dress and tries to seduce Thomas, but he shows no reaction to her. She gets furious and goes to the garage to pleasure herself. The two have had a rocky relationship for some time because Mia wants a kid, but Thomas is always busy with work. In the following scene, we see Nika walk down the street at night. Suddenly, she falls unconscious and is kidnapped by two men in a van. They tie her hands and gag her so she doesn't attempt to run after she wakes up. Following that, they heat up a metal rod and put a mark on her arm with it. A while later, Nika gains consciousness and jumps out of the moving van without her abductors knowing. The following day, an old man visits Dr. Isabel to talk to her about the procedure. She makes him sign an NDA and asks for a lot of money for the treatment. She also claims that the process of the treatment will not be told and he should only be concerned about the results. The man is nervous but agrees to do it anyway. Back at Mia's house, Nika bangs on her door, asking for help. A surprise Mia lets her in and is worried about all the injuries. Thomas, on the other hand, sees a mark on Nika's arm and realizes Isabel's men kidnapped her as a subject for her experiment. He offers to take Nika to the hospital, but takes her to the factory where Isabel's lab is. Before the girl can comprehend what's going on, her abductor from earlier drags her away. Thomas meets Isabel again and questions her about what is going on. He was told the test subjects of the experiment volunteered themselves, but to his surprise, Isabel has been kidnapping girls. Disgusted by her methods, he storms out furiously while Isabel begs him not to sabotage the project. Meanwhile, Mia gets worried when both Nika and Thomas don't receive her calls. She uses his phone location and tracks him to an abandoned factory without any hospitals nearby. After that, she drives to the factory to find out the truth for herself. She gets there and walks in to investigate. Eventually, she finds a woman tied to a table being tased and tortured. Isabel's henchmen, known as the dog and the pig, capture Mia and drag her into a dark room. At the same time, Thomas arrives home to find Mia missing. He notices that she has been monitoring his location the whole time. After realizing that she's probably gone to the factory, he quickly calls Isabel, who is watching Mia in the surveillance footage, and says that she is fine. A while later, the dog enters Mia's room and asks her to take her clothes off. A scared Mia quietly obliges, but tries to run away when he is distracted. The dog catches her with no difficulty and ties her to the ground. He sedates her, takes her blood sample, and burns her arm with a mark. Thomas arrives at the factory and starts looking for his wife. He is allowed to talk to her for just five minutes. Mia is disgusted to see her husband. She asks him about the truth, but Thomas only says that he didn't know Isabel was doing all of this. He promises to get her out of there safely, but asks her not to try anything on her own or else a dog might kill her. After meeting her, Thomas goes to Isabel, who threatens to kill Mia if he tries to sabotage the experiment. She takes his phone and asks him to wait in the room. 
Several hours pass when suddenly Mia is woken up by someone banging on her door. Outside is Nika begging her to open the door and help, but since the door is locked from the outside, Mia cannot help her. The dog and the pig arrive there shortly after and brutally kill Nika in front of Mia. Then we see Isabel inspecting the girl's DNA to see if they match with hers. Meanwhile, Thomas goes looking for Mia again. He hugs her, assuring her that they will be fine. Since the facility has surveillance cameras everywhere, they will have to think of another way to escape. Mia asks him how he got involved with Isabel when Thomas replies that Isabel introduced him to a girl named Ellie at a party six months ago. She said that the two were perfect for each other and sent them into her room. Thomas didn't recall what happened after that, but the following morning, Isabel found Ellie dead, meaning that Thomas killed her at night. She helped him cover up the murder in turn for funding for the experiment and has been blackmailing him ever since. Thomas goes to Isabel who shows him that she impregnates women chemically and uses their newborns for her experiments. She claims that they might become the richest people in the world if they go through with this plan. Thomas fakes being on her team so she would let Mia go. He tells her that he never liked Mia and should kill her because she would be trouble for them later. Isabel agrees and lets him take Mia to the other room to kill her. The plan works and Mia and Thomas run towards the entrance. However, the pig follows him and attacks Thomas. Mia somehow gets inside the car, but the dog soon catches her. Thomas is knocked out while Mia is about to be killed. Right then, Isabel notices that her rare DNA has matched with Mia's. She stops the dog from killing Mia and asks him to keep her with the other captured girls. When Mia wakes up, she is tied to a hospital bed. Isabel uses a tool to fertilize Mia's ovaries. Following that, Mia is taken to the basement where several other girls are kept inside cells. As the dog leaves, one of the girls asks Mia what's happening outside. They are too scared to even speak to each other because of the dog. One of the girls is named Ellie, the girl Thomas thought he killed. It turns out that Isabel had set a trap for Thomas so he would invest in the experiments. Ellie reveals that she was two months pregnant and needed money, so she agreed to help Isabel, unknown to her that she would be stabbed in the back. Suddenly, a girl yells in pain, complaining about a toothache. This attracts the dog who enters the cell and beats her for breaking the rules. He does some horrid stuff and staples her mouth so she can't speak. Ellie curses at him, making him attack her. As he hits her brutally, Ellie's water breaks. She goes into labor, which makes the dog nervous. He runs out quickly and returns with Isabel. She helps Ellie deliver a baby boy, but doesn't even let her see him. At night, when the dog is distributing food to the girls, Mia pees on the floor to deliberately anger him. He comes inside her cell and hits her. The two get into a fight that ends when Ellie from the other cell gets her hands on a knife and stabs the dog with it. Then, Mia snatches the keys from him and throws them to the girls so they can free themselves. Following that, they make their way out looking for Ellie's newborn and end up in a horrid smelling room. Mia opens a suspicious looking bin and finds it full of dead bodies of newborn babies. The girls are beyond horrified at the sight of everything but hope that Ellie's baby is still fine. They hear a cry from afar and follow the noise. Meanwhile, Thomas wakes up and starts looking for Mia. He also finds a taser and some keys in the drawer. Eventually, he sees two girls inside another cell and hands them the keys, asking them to free the other girls. At the same time, the former group of girls gets to the lab where Isabel is about to perform surgery on Ellie's baby while the pig assists her. They arrive on time and stop them from hurting the child, but Isabel runs away with him. Half the girls chase her while the others choke the pig until he dies. A while later, Ellie finds her son on the counter, alive and well. Then a heavily injured dog gets dressed to run away, but he encounters Thomas on his way and gets into a fight with him. He is about to kill Thomas, but Mia tases him at the right time. All the other girls find Isabel, who is trying to run away with the samples. They attack her and beat her repeatedly. A while later, both the dog and Isabel are tied with ropes. The girls pee on the dog as revenge and then hit him with an iron rod, finally killing him. While they are distracted, Isabel takes the opportunity and gets her hand on a screwdriver. As the girls close in on her, she tries to shoo them away with the weapon. In the end, she knows there is no way for her to escape. Hence, she stabs herself and dies. The girls are finally free. They cry tears of happiness while hugging each other. Lastly, the paramedics arrive and they are given proper treatment. 
It's now a few months after the incident. There were no names found on Isabel's client list, but pictures of several influential men in the world were found. The evidence was deemed weak, and the case was soon closed. We see Thomas and Mia on their bed touching each other's scars which the incident caused. Since Mia's ovaries were fertilized by Isabel, she gave birth to a beautiful girl. The couple names her Nika. The movie ends as we see Isabel taking care of Nika. Thanks for watching, guys.